Hey everybody, um, just wanted to give you an update on the uh, reinforcing the eye joists. A few days have gone by, I did a section as a test, it's not, this isn't something I've ever done before. So wanted to see how it came out and um, let you know how it's going. So here we go. Also some of the things I've, the way that I did it. So you see these are the reinforcements I put in, no big deal. 7 sixteenths OSB now they only come in eight foot boards locally and um, we have a uh, just over a 14 foot span so what I did is put them center span and I don't know if you want to call this the science behind it but here was my method. <clears throat> so what we have is 16 OSB right and over here we can see it so that's the end of the I-beam, which is half inch OSB in the center. And like I said, the reason why we're doing this is it's just over a 14 foot span. I, di I didn't look it up in the books to see what's proper or not, but it's obviously missing the uh, bracing which it should have, which puts a bounce in the floor, um, which, you know, it's not cool, man. So here's what I did. Use construction adhesive first which I'm not going to do at the moment because I don't want it to be all over the place. Basically went down the side of the board and there's a rough side and a side that is um, it's almost waxy. It's got a shine to it. So glued the rough side <clears throat> and then to install it took one inch crown staples and went a little crazy with the with the cheese whiz <laughs> with the staples just stapled it all over the place and i did do both and the reason being is i i wasn't happy just with the 716 securing it it's really not a lot of meat that you know osb is pretty fragile the um you know as time goes by it seems to dry out almost so it's not as strong as i'd like so gluing it then I stapled it keep it in place and then after that used a one and a quarter inch construction screw not a drywall screw I, I don't know what drywall screws are rated at but these particular screws are rated at 350 pounds of shear so I used three different methods of securing it I used construction adhesive used crown staples and then I used inch and a quarter um, construction screws about every 16 inches two pieces now I ripped the plywood down to six inches even though the web is about six and a half inches because it's you know we're not trying to wedge it in there I'm not trying to spend a week under here doing this um, and fitting it tight and there is some deflection some sag in the beam so if I were to do that it, you would be under here trying to straighten the beams and everything and it's just not necessary so after about two days now um, when I started this walked away to see how the test run went I'm actually pretty amazed thank you Brett um, who gave me this suggestion for this method so really we're just trying to get bounds I mean it's not structurally unsound or anything like that and all the screws and all the staples in the world I don't believe is what's doing it when I first installed it, now all the screws are in, all the staples are in, and part of the reason why screws and staples also is when you screw in the screws, you can see that it'll pull in where the screw is. And in between the screws, it's just not as tight, so the staples basically bring it together, clamp it tight for the glue to cure. In just screws, I don't think it's going to do it just staples I don't trust as the as the beam deflects they're going to come out but I think the key component was the construction adhesive because like I said we're just trying to get a little bit of a bounce out and that really laminates it secures it and the screws are functional the staples are functional but I really believe that they're just holding it in place until the glue cures um, so that's that's really basically it these are um, like I said, eight foot, eight foot lengths coming from a sheet of plywood, uh, OSB, 
um, put it center span, centered it on the span, and um, yeah, and then you go upstairs after it cured, and it's just amazing how solid the floor feels. When you walk over sections of the floor, you'll get over sections where there's there's heads or girders underneath supporting it, and you can just feel the solid of it because there's no deflection. And now it's it's almost hard to tell where those the girders are underneath the joists and not because of this shoring up. The last thing I'm going to do um, once I get all the web sistered is put some banding on the bottom to connect them because again the the design from the manufacturer with the crosses or the bridging what it does is it it also stops the beams from uh, twisting side to side. And again, none of this stuff is really like, oh my goodness, I can't believe how soft it is. It's a trampoline. It's not like that. We're just like tuning it to be solid. So even that, as the as the beam wants to come down, it'll it'll also want to flex. So by banding the bottom, it'll prevent any of that. All right, and this will be the last video on this. Hope it helps, and um, have a great day.